The Giant Swing The Giant Swing at a county fair consists of a vertical central shaft with a number of horizontal arms attached at its upper end. Each arm supports a seat suspended from a cable 5 meters long and the upper end of the cable is fastened to the arm, as you can see, at a point 3 meters from the central shaft. Find the time of one revolution of the swing if the cable supporting a seat makes an angle of 30 degrees with the vertical. And part B, does the angle depend on the weight of the passenger for a given rate of revolution? So we're going to start with a free body diagram for the person Uh, this person modeled as a particle will feel the gravitational force from the earth mg mass of the person times gravitational acceleration uh, this is the vertical axis there will be a tension on the string making an angle 30 degrees with the vertical and you can see that this is a uniform circular motion and there is a given rate therefore we have r hat pointing radially outward and j hat pointing vertically upward so this is basically the direction of the radial unit vector r hat and this is the direction of the vertical unit vector j hat if you wish the net force on the y-axis must be equal to zero because there is no motion on the y-axis. So T cosine 30, which points upward, is equal to mg, that points downward. And therefore the tension is given by mg divided by cosine of the angle, cosine 30. The net force on the radial axis, on the other hand, is pointing in minus r hat direction, minus mv square over r, the radius of the uniform circular motion, which is due to the tension component, minus t sine 30 equals minus mv square divided by r. And since the tension was equal to mg over cosine 30, we can cancel these minus signs and substitute for tension mg over cosine 30. So we have mg sine 30 divided by cosine 30 equals mv square over r. As you can see, the masses will be cancelled and we will be left with a speed v is equal to square root g r tangent 30 which must be equal to in uniform circular motion the total circumference 2 pi r traversed in one period tau so tau is the period and the radius for this uniform circular motion is this part, that's horizontal uh, arm, 3 meters, plus the projection of this string onto the horizontal axis, so 5 cosine 30. So we will have a total radial distance from the center, 3 plus 5 sine uh, 30, which is 5.50 meters. Therefore, the period tau becomes 2 pi r divided by v, which is a square root gr tangent 30, gr tangent 30. And if we take this r inside the square root, we will obtain 2 pi r divided by g tangent 30 in square root and this if we substitute for r 5.5 if we substitute for g 9.8 and then we have tangent 30 square root this gives us roughly 
seconds for the period the time it takes to complete one revolution. So this was part A of the problem. Part B asks me does the angle depend on the weight of the passengers for a given rate of revolution? Okay, so for a given rate of revolution Uh, we have uh, tangent theta, as you can see here, is equal to v square over uh, rg. Tangent theta is v square over rg, uh, which is independent because the masses got cancelled here. They disappeared. Uh, this is independent of the weight of the passenger okay so this is my answer to part b of the problem for a given rate of revolution uh, the angle theta is tangent inverse of v square over gr which doesn't have m in it so it's independent of the weight of the passenger so to summarize, we have a giant swing which has a central shaft, a horizontal arm 3 meters long and a cable hanging at 30 degrees with respect to vertical and length 5 meters from the uh, end of this uh, horizontal arm supporting a seat with a person. And uh, this uh, basically uh, performs a uniform circular motion for a given rate of a revolution there's going to be a constant distance traveled uh, for a given period of time so we want to find this time of one revolution which is the period of the swing if the cable makes an angle 30 degrees with the vertical and uh, if we change the weight of the person would that change this um, angle for a given rate of revolution so first we have drawn the free body diagram of the person. The person has a weight, there is the tension pointing up and this turns out to be the radial axis for this circular motion. R hat is pointing radially outward, J hat is pointing upward, so that's the Y axis as you can see here. Net force on the Y axis should be zero, so T is equal to mg over cosine 30. Net force on the radial axis must be equal to the centripetal force minus mv square over r r hat. Uh, we see that it is the component of tension on the horizontal axis t sine 30 that is responsible for the centripetal uh, acceleration. And uh, we see when we substitute for tension mg over cosine 30, amps cancel and v is square root gr over tangent 30, which is equal to 2 pi r divided by tau, where tau is the period of revolution. Um, and r, we were careful to see that there is this uh, horizontal arm 3 meters plus the radial distance from the center, 5 cosine 30, 5.5 meters. If we substitute for r 5.5, we can calculate the period to be 6.19 seconds. And in this calculation, when we calculated tangent of the angle theta, it is, you can see here, V square over GR, because the masses got uh, canceled in the previous uh, step, we see that this angle value is independent of the weight of the passenger.